And welcome back, everyone, to the Zompocto Creation Series. Today's Zompocto Creation Series suggestion comes to us from Michelle Barnes, who asked the question, What is the Zompocto of a... And forgive me if I mispronounced this character's name. I've never seen this character's name before, so I've never pronounced it out loud. Uh, Ziano? Uh, Ziano's uh, from JoJo Bizarre Adventures, uh, Zompocto. Now, uh... Any, I have never done a JoJo character on this series, I just realized. So this is kind of a new experience, because similar to, uh, I'm sure there's another series where souls can be a bit of a factor, similar to something like, <clears throat> I don't know, um, you hawk or whatever. Uh, well, actually, similar to Bleach, weirdly enough. Or actually, oh, I know what it was. It was, um, it was Jujutsu Kaisen. Similar to J Jujutsu Kaisen, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure actually does have something in common with Bleach when it comes to the concept of creating your Zombok Toe. In JoJo's Bizarre Adventures and the JoJo series as a whole, there are individuals known as stand users. And what a stand is, it's a psychic representation of yourself that manifests in a form. And technically, it's physical. Technically, it's not. It's kind of incorporeal, but can interact with other stands. Regardless, it is... Again, a reflection of your power to some degree. It just takes the form. If you want to use Bleach turns as a Zonpocto spirit that fights and has an ability of its own. Well, Ziano's ability is this or ability takes the form of this little thing right here. Um, and its ability, its name is, and they all have are named like after songs or group rock groups or whatever. Uh, Talking Head, and it's really not super powerful. What Talking Head does is it can actually, it can first off physically grab your tongue, but second, it can make you tell the truth. It can control your lie, your ability to lie, basically. It can, in its most um, powerful aspects, control some of your basic actions, too. It can make you point somewhere or physically uh, cause you to move your body in a way you don't necessarily want to. However, it's not full body or mind control, it's just more basic actions. So, how do I convert that to a Zompocto? Well, I get first and foremost, I think you can tell what the spirit of the Zompocto would be. It's that little red guy right there. But what would the Zompocto actually be like? Well, it would be a keto-based Zompocto for converting this ability to a Zompocto. Because, like I said, similar to Jujutsu Jiu Jiu Kaisen. Uh, Jojo is one of those characters, or is one of those series where I can actually straight out convert the ability of the character into a Zompocto without any issue. I I haven't done a Tonto in a while for a sealed Zompocto, so I would actually say this character probably would have a Tonto. It wouldn't be anything impressive, but it would still be a weapon. However, and its uh, release command would be uh, Reveal the Truth. Reveal the Truth, Talking Head. Or Hanatsu... Atuma. I might be butchering that name, uh, that pronunciation a little bit, but Hatsu, uh, Hanasu Atuma. Its Bankai would be talking heads, which you would not think would be a very big change in name. And to be fair, it goes now Hatsuna or Hanatsu Hezu. Uh, it's she, honestly, as I said, it's um, spirit is the actual stand itself. It looks kind of like a little bit like a little demonic mini midget Majin Buu with a lizard tail and no legs. That's kind of what it looks like. Actually, no, it looks almost like Freeze's tail a little bit. Isn't he adorable in his own little way? But what the Zanpakuto's form would be is it actually doesn't really change form. I, I could see it lengthening out a little bit. Maybe it's a bit more ornate, but it's still mostly just a, it's still a melee weapon. However, being a keto type, what happens is you're suddenly engrossed in just this very large sphere, a sphere that's color-wise, if I were to say what the color would be, it's maybe like kind of like a neutral white or something like that, and more or less what's going on is you're in a very faint dome of his spiritual energy. I may have used her uh, initially when I said Ziano, but Ziano's actually a guy. <laughs> Looks very feminine, but it's a guy. Um, and you're within his, uh, like a dome kind of similar to what Tozen did with his Bankai, but you're, you can get outside the dome. Within the dome, it's basically the concepts of law, of honesty. Truths and lies are within this, uh, his domain. And so long as you're talking, you can, um, 
you can discern the truth. Whenever someone tells a lie, the white air, might, the white mist or the very pale blue mist of Ryatsu uh, that you're within turns blue, uh, turns red. When you tell the truth, it turns green, which are generally the colors that usually go for a yes or no kind of answer. Uh, <clears throat> positive, negative, all that. You know, red light, green light, that sort of thing. Now, this would not be... And basically, you can kind of control... A little bit of uh, a little bit of the narrative. You can basically. What's the best way to put it? I think this very special ability of this Zanpakuto would be, if someone were to lie, they automatically are then forced to tell the true answer to the question they just said. I think that would be it. It actually kind of mirrors a little bit of the Pinky Promise game that Kiraku has with his Shikai. Granted. His is a much more dangerous version of this. This is literally just manipulating and getting the answer. You can now. How would this be effective on the battlefield? You first off, be a very skilled swordsman when you're on the battlefield. But second, you could technically discern your opponent's ability just by asking them. If your opponent decides not to tell the truth, uh, that's up to them. Uh, if your opponent decides to lie, well, then they're going to end up telling the truth. The only way to avoid the ability is just not talk in combat, which for certain characters wouldn't be that big of an issue. And some characters don't care about letting you know what's up with them. But for other characters who do like to talk in, in combat, such as a Mayuri or a Urahara, this would be a very troublesome Zanpakuto to be dealing with, just because you can, especially with someone who's got God knows how many means to fight you, and doesn't want to reveal anything, is usually pretty coy about things, you might spill the beans on something you don't want to reveal. I could see this character also using a lot of keto to compensate for the fact that Zanpakuto does not have a really strong combat-based ability. But then that leads us to the Bonkai. What is the Bonkai? And I think the Bonkai goes right towards the name of the Zanpakuto's Bonkai itself. Going from talking head to talking heads. You know, they go Bonkai, the dome suddenly splits into three orbed, uh, or not orbed, but three floating heads that look very similar to the floating head of the stand slash Zanpakuto spirit at, as it is. These talking heads, one is controlling truth, one is controlling lies, and one is con can control actions, at least to some degree. Now, if one is in effect, two of them cannot do anything. But, at least, not, uh, not unless you use it as like a final ability, where it's like you're controlling truth, lie, and the phys physical ability of someone. It's kind of like a true, like a perfect control Zanpakuto, but only when you're going all out, and only briefly, because to control someone flawlessly is near impossible, because, you know, you go up against someone who's got more Ryatsu, can resist the effects, higher willpower, you can impart your will onto something very briefly. But more, more to the point, uh, each head controls, again, the aspect of lies, truth, whatever. Now, if you're the, the head of truth is, is um, uh, activated or is active at the time, well, then the person is forced. They cannot stop themselves from telling the truth. But if a person is if, similar to the uh, head of lies, someone cannot stop themselves from lying. Similar to how Shinji's Zanpakuto actually affects your mental perception of your allies and enemies, this can do the same. Uh, then the head of control which is the third one. That is the most dangerous one because theoretically it can control your movements and your actions to some degree. But similarly, I wouldn't think it would be strong enough to do it entirely. Like, if your body's trying to move on. So, similar to what uh, Amore... Was it Amore or Amore? I think it was Amore. What, um... Oh, why am I blanking on Espada 7's ability? Or Espada 7's name. Uh, Zamari. Zamari, that was his name. It's kind of similar to what he was doing with Byakia, but Byakia could be, you know, erase the stop that. Similar concept, just not quite as strong either, because Zomari's ability actually had almost an absolute control effect, unless someone actually cut their nerve endings and tendons. So this one wouldn't be quite as strong, but it would still affect actions in a fight. Do the heads have any other ability? Like, can they fire, like, a Reishi Blast or something like that? I... I don't see them being able to do that. 
but I could see them coming together for the final ability and just forcing, basically forcing someone to take their own life is what they'd be doing, more or less. Controlling their actions, if only for a few seconds, to just put a blade to their throat and just move. I could see that. I could also see them being at least durable enough to take physical hits. Like, they could probably act defensively. Maybe they could even have at least somewhat of an offensive capability similar to Mayuri's Bankai, where it can inge- like attack someone like the baby said, eat someone. Other than that, though, I don't see this being like energy blast or anything like that. No, this is this is a very, like, esoteric, is that the word? It's it's a very unique Zompok tone. Control the concept of truth and lies and all that. Like, honesty, control. Control is really the main concept of the Zombok Toe when you break it down. Now, again, weaknesses to the Zombok Toe, it has no ranged abilities whatsoever. Like, it has no, let me rephrase that, it has no offensive ranged capabilities. As we can, as I just explained with the Bankai, it can technically work at range. <clears throat> Uh, it's still in melee form, and it's really no bigger than a Wakazashi once it's released. So it's not a very imposing sword in combat. Uh, again, anyone with strong enough willpower can resist the Zanpakuto. Anyone with higher Ryatsu capability or an ability that theoretically could negate this ability. For example, Kyoraku's ability hypothetically could negate this ability. Hypothetically. <clears throat> but... Overall, it would be a very unique Zompak Tao. It would fit very well with the concept of that what Talking Head does in the JoJo verse. Either way, this is just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching, though. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one. I'm seeing Monkey Monkey Man. I'm seeing Monkey Man later tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.